All right, this is power chain. I'm going to show you today how to measure a one-piece drive shaft. Here we have a 66 Mustang, and uh, we do have the transmission yoke present. So, in this case, we're using this 28 spline PTI yoke. It is counterboard down, yoke spline starting about here, two and a half inches in. So we're going to want to let this ride with about an inch of play when we supply a measurement. So what's your first thing you're going to do is Make sure the transmission yoke is going to bottom out. There are different 28 splines that do fit Mustangs, any kind of Ford transmissions. This older model Mustang does take this longer yoke. 3103-28 so you want to make sure it bottoms out like so back it out an inch line it up with your pinion yoke if you can and you want to go center line of this u-joint with your tape measure to the center line of your pinion yoke here this one takes u-bolts as you can see it does bolt on the back there uh, another way to tell is that it does have a uh, drilled hole if they are threaded, you are going to need straps. Another thing, important measurement is the, uh, you have this tab right here. That means it's an outside snap ring, so you're going to want to go inside of this groove to the inside of this groove, and that should be uh, for a 1310 version. Uh, should be 3.219 is the official measurement. Uh, you also want to supply a cap to cap, so get your calipers out. Uh, measure from uh, where the cap sits in here. A inch and a sixteenth is the standard 1310 cap. Um, some Ford rear ends do take an inch and an eighth cap, so that will be a combination joint. You're going to want to make sure you uh, let your drive shaft builder know. So after that joint is identified in the back, the 1310 does match up with this yoke right here. It has the uh, outside snap ring grooves in it right here, um, and uh, cap diameter once again inch and a sixteenth for this one. So after uh, both U joints are identified and the measurements supplied center line to center line, you're good to go. That's how to measure a one piece drive shaft and powertrain.